Hello, what's up? Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a good day. My name is Alana for anybody who is seeing a video from me for the first time. In today's video, I'm going to go over my kind of step-by-step -step photographing process for listing on places like eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Depop, Etsy. This process is pretty much, you know, the same across the board. So whatever platform you decide to sell on, this should apply to that. You do not need to buy fancy lights or a camera or anything like that, especially if you're just doing this to get rid of your own clothes and stuff. You can pretty much just use your phone and I'll go over in this some alternatives to help your photos really stand out without needing to spend money on anything fancy at all. So here we go. First things first, you want to find a spot on a wall somewhere in your home that will be your like designated photographing spot. So I just use a blank wall and I've just put a nail on it. I know some people like to do a hook. So whatever you decide to do, um, just find a space that is big enough so that you can stand back enough to get the full garment in the picture. Finding a spot near a window is definitely going to be best just so you can get that natural light coming in. Um, even with using studio lights, it helps so much to have a window nearby that lets natural light in. There is really no substitute for good natural light. So especially if you are not using any type of studio lights, I highly recommend finding a space in your home that is well lit and that nat natural light just kind of flows into. So if you want to really step up your photos, then definitely getting box lights or a ring light will help just because it will illuminate the item and just make the photo come out really, really clear and crisp. I use box lights and I just angle them at like a 45 degree angle on my item. So I have two different lights that I use behind the camera, kind of angling towards the item. And if you use a ring light, I think you just set it right behind your camera just so it's like perfectly centered onto the item. Um, definitely not necessary to get lights. And the next thing you'll do is prep the clothes that you are going to photograph. It definitely helps to attract potential buyers to have your items look wrinkle-free and just really nice. So if you don't have a steamer or you don't wanna get one, then definitely just hanging them up for a little bit um, will help get the wrinkles out or if they are um, dryer friendly, you can just throw a little wet rag in the dryer with your items and just have it tumble dry low for a little bit and then they will come out wrinkle free. So those are a couple little tips. Selling platforms require you to upload in a square format. So to save yourself some time, I definitely recommend using square mode to shoot all of your photos and that'll just help so that they are ready to go. Once you have photographed them, you don't have to do any cropping or anything like that. Just saves you some time in the end. A little tip to help your photos look extra professional is to get wooden hangers or metal hangers that you can use to hang the item that you are photographing. I think it just looks really professional to have that as opposed to a plastic hanger. So when it comes time to actually taking your photos, I definitely think it's best to get multiple angles of the item that you're selling. So the front, the back, um, any close-up of any details that you think would be worth showing, um, the size tag, the care tag, stuff like that. Or if there are any flaws, you definitely want to take photos of those to disclose in your listing, just so that the potential buyer can have a full like 360 view of what the item that they would be buying looks like. Some people like to model the photos, or if you can find a stock photo, that's really great. Just a side note on that though, some platforms are a little bit more strict about allowing um, stock photos or some brands I should say will like kind of come after you. So stock photos are usually best in um, not the cover photo, like in a photo later on in the listing. Um, you can do it on the front, but just a heads up on that, you might get it asked to take down, especially on eBay. So definitely multiple pictures is best. And if you can either show a picture of you wearing it or find a stock photo to add into your photos, that'll help the potential buyer really decide if they wanna buy it based on what it looks like being worn. For items like shoes or purses, things like that, you'll wanna get either like a stool or you can kind of just use a table or something like that to set the items on to photograph. Really against that same wall is probably perfect. Taking measurements of your items can really help them sell. It's definitely not required um, and a lot of people will say like measurements upon request or something like that, but I really think that adding the measurements helps the potential buyer make that decision much quicker if they actually want the item just because then they know that it fits them or it doesn't. So I really like to add in measurements and I'm just gonna go over like the basic measurements that I use. 
There are so many different measurements you can do, but these are the ones that I use and I've never had anybody actually ask for additional measurements other than these. So I have like a little diagram that I will show you guys of what those look like. So I'm just gonna kind of scoot over. Let's see, actually I'll come, I'll come over here. So when it comes to measuring items, it's definitely best to use a soft measuring tape, like one specifically for clothes. I use just a normal tape measure and then just say on my listing that it's approximate. Um, if you have a soft tape measure though, I definitely think that is the most accurate. So just a little disclaimer there, but if you don't have one, I think it is perfectly okay to use a regular one and then just really emphasize that it is an approximate measurement just in case there are a little bit of discrepancies there. Um, but just to give the potential buyer a good idea of what the measurement is, is better than no measurement at all in my opinion. For any tops, jackets, vests, things like that, I like to include the armpit to armpit measurement as well as the shoulder to hem measurement. From my experience, those are just the best two to include, super simple, and it just helps the buyer know whether or not the item will fit them. For pants, I include the waist, hips, rise, and inseam. For purses, the measurements that I think are most helpful are the height, width, the depth of the bag, as well as the drop so that the potential buyer knows how far down the purse will fall. So there are a couple of ways to include the measurements. You could either take pictures of like the measuring tape on the items and just include those in your photos or you can write down the measurements or photograph the measurements and just kind of like type them out into the listing. That is what I decided to do but I know you know both either way is fine as long as the potential buyer can see what the measurements are. I think that is just really what's most important. All right and then this is just a little bonus. I love to remove the background on my photos after I've taken them. I think it helps them look so clean and professional and just consistent all across the board. So a free place that you can do this is on Photo Room. So if you just go on to photoroom.com and then go to background remover, then you can either just drag your photo onto here or select it from a file and then it will just remove the background for you and make it look super clean and white behind your item. And if you do this for all your photos, it just helps them to look so clean and consistent. I think this is a great tool. There are many places you can do it, but Photo Room is a free one, so I think it's a great option if you decide you want to have a white background on your photos. But if you're happy with how your photos look like on the wall that you take them, or if you wanna do, I know some people do things like this, like some greenery or things like that, just kind of the key here is for your items to look consistent and just have a similar theme all across the board. So then after that, you are good to go and ready to upload all of your photos onto whatever platform you decide to sell on. If you need help with like your descriptions and stuff like that, or to get a good idea of the kind of angles and pictures to take, I have all of the platforms that I sell on linked down below. So feel free to check out mine and just get an idea if that would be helpful. I sell on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Depop. I'll have linked down in the description the photographing supplies that I use. So definitely feel free to check those out. But like I said, keep it simple and especially if you are just selling your own clothes, do not feel the need to buy a bunch of stuff. You really just need a hook or a nail on the wall, a well-lit space, and your phone to take good photos. If you have any questions at all, definitely leave them down below in the comments. I'm happy to answer and help you out. Good luck photographing if this is your first time. I hope this video was informative and gave you kind of all the tools you need. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!